Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced React WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about creating the pagination. And in this video, we'll continue further on the same. Uh, there are some updates we need to make. For example, we need to extend our uh, Tailwind config to add some of the extra things like the width, height, etc. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this part from the extend and go back to the Tailwind. CSS, Tailwind config, which is here. And then inside of the extend, oops, just going to replace the extend with it. Okay, there you go. So remember we used the uh, 225 pixels, 400 and all of those uh, different classes inside of the post, which is this one, right? So we added some custom classes and in case if you want to extend Tailwind CSS, you can do that by adding those custom classes here. And that's what we have done over here. The next thing we want to do is go to our layout component. So say layout, just this one front end index.js and where we have this container we just say md because we need to fix the css in the mobile view and then we also use the min height almost screen here so i'm going to add that here and then inside of the nav.js we want to ensure that in case if the user adds the blog menu item from wordpress we don't want to you know, repeat that again over here because remember that we're already creating a link explicitly for blog page, right? So we just need to exclude that. Uh, so all we have to do for that is, so if you go to the utils slug.js, we have this function where we can check that information. So what we can do is we can copy this function and we can check that over here. So I'm gonna say, Let's copy this from here, Let's say if, and then return. And the condition would be, so we'll have the information of the URL inside of the menu.node.path, right? So I'm just going to say, if it's not, the custom page is custom page URI and then we pass the menu.node.path inside of it. And if it's not a custom page, then go ahead and render it. Okay. So if you go back and then we check, it all works fine, which is great. And then even if accidentally we add that in the menu, so if you go to appearance menu and let's say accidentally we add that page as blog over here and if you go back and check you're not going to see that the second time the reason for this is because we are checking that do not display the link inside of this loop if it's one of the custom page uri which is uh, you know one of these in this case blog right because we're already adding that link explicitly outside of that loop all right cool perfect because we, we don't want to be showing two blog post pages okay now you'll say to me what if i want the load more feature what do how do i do that okay so let's go ahead and create a link and let's name that as okay so we'll call it news and let's ensure that we add that inside of the is custom page uri also news right okay so we're going to create a page called news and in that page we are going to show the post but this time instead of doing the numbered pagination we'll do the load more feature okay so i'm going to see you in the next video thank you very much